Hello guys, coming to you from my living room today. I want to have a little chat with you, a little bit different kind of video. And we're going to talk about seven simple steps you can take each week to simplify your life and your home. So stick around. If we haven't met before, my name is Angie. My husband Bill and I live in Louisiana where it is extremely hot right now. So I've got to keep the air conditioning running while I'm filming this. So hopefully that sound won't bother us too much. But we are on the road to simple. We have a long way to go. We're trying to declutter our possessions, trying to pare things down for retirement and just in general for a more simplified life. So if you are doing this already, you already know that it's easier for some people and more difficult for others to let go of things. I have really pared down a lot of things and my husband has too, but I want him to get rid of a whole lot more stuff, but I've got to let him take his time to do that. So I'm trying not to pressure him too much. We're just going down this road together and we will get there. What I want to focus on in today's video is a program I created called Seven Simple Steps. What this challenge consists of is seven days. Each day you have one simple challenge to complete. And I have four weeks of these seven days a week tips for you. We're not gonna talk about all 28 steps in this video today, but we're gonna go through some of them and I'm gonna show you how you can get this so that you can take this challenge to do one thing a day, seven simple steps for a week and keep that going for 28 days and you will be well on your way to simple. So let me pull up a chair so we can talk about this. Okay, let's sit down and chat, shall we? Let me begin by explaining that I created this challenge as a way for you to every day be thinking in some way about simplifying or decluttering. So these are just small steps to take every day just to get you in that habit looking around noticing things and seeing what you can do to simplify and when i say simplify that could be of course your home simplify your home and your belongings but but it could also be mental clutter and just the time that busyness takes up in your life and if you could just simplify other areas of your life besides physical things that's something to think about as well and there's way more than seven a week you can do but these are the suggestions that i have for you i'm going to go through a couple of them that i have for each week and then if you stick around till the end i'll tell you how to get all 28 of them one of the things on the challenge for week one is to simplify your food storage containers I think it's a pretty safe bet that there's going to be some of you watching this video that have way too many food storage containers. If you have them, bowls in one place, lids in one place, match them all up to make sure that you have a lid for everything. Put them together, make sure you don't have any stragglers, get rid of any extra lids or bowls without the lids. I would ask you to go one step further and try leaving your lids on your containers and stacking them up. I know you're gonna say that takes up a whole lot more room, but it's a lot easier to just grab what you need that way. And it also might keep you from keeping extra containers that you really don't need. You probably have too many. Another item on week number one is to count your coffee cups, count your mugs, most people have way too many of those. Maybe you're not one of those, but I know my husband and I are. I don't use coffee cups a lot, but he does drink coffee. But we've had to simplify those a few times. They're easy to stack up when you go on vacations or people give them to you as gifts, but try cutting down on your coffee mugs. And here's another tip. If you have problems trying to let go of something, Put some of your food storage containers and your coffee cups in a box. Put that box away for a while. See if you miss them at all. That's a good experiment to see what you really can do without. You might not miss some of those things like you think you would. All right, let's go on to week number two. 
Number eight on my list for you is to declutter your cleaning products that you most likely have underneath your kitchen sink. Take a good look at what you've got under there. There may be some cleaners that you bought five years ago to remove one spot. Do you really need to hold on to that? I would rather enjoy a clutter-free area under my sink than to worry about keeping something that costs three or four dollars that I can go ahead and buy another time years down the road if I need it. Challenge number nine is to clean out your sock drawer. That's an easy place to start, easy thing to do. Get rid of the things that don't match any longer, the things you don't wear. That's an easy one. This is a good one. Challenge number 12 is to reject the thought of going shopping because you're bored. Come up with something else to do if you're bored than just going shopping just to kill time. So if you're gonna go shopping, chances are you're gonna buy something you don't need. If you're truly bored, think about other things you could do. You could call up an old friend. You could write a sweet card to a relative. What a joy that would be for them to receive a card in the mail from you. You could volunteer somewhere. If you find yourself thinking, I need to go shopping, I need that rush of finding something new, just challenge yourself to think of other ways that you could fill that void of trying to find something to do by doing something really good that could help someone or help your community. Here's challenge number 14, and that is to find 10 items to give away. Just walk through your house, grab a box, or put a box in a designated area and ask the kids to help. Find 10 things that can leave your house. It could be clothes, it could be magazines, it could be anything. But just challenge yourself one day to give away 10 things. We'll jump on over to week three. Uh, this is a good one. Number 15, think twice before accepting something that's free. How often do you go somewhere that someone hands you a free sample or somehow you have the opportunity to get a free item? Our instinct is to say, oh, it's free. You know, why not? I don't have to pay for it. I'm getting this free. But just because it's free does not mean that you need it. You might resist picking up free magazines, free samples, different places. Those things tend to pile up and create clutter in your home. You don't have to be rude about telling someone no, but think about it the next time someone offers you something free. You can kindly decline that offer. Challenge number 19 is to turn off one or more notifications on your phone. Most of us get lots of notifications on our phones that aren't truly necessary. And that takes you away from the focus of what you're doing. Maybe you're enjoying some quiet time or you're enjoying some family time. Don't let those notifications rob you of that precious time. Think about removing at least one notification. It's easy to go into your phone settings and turn off notifications. Try it for a little while. I used to get my local TV station news all the time. Enough is enough. I don't need all these news notifications. If it's something truly important, I'll find out about it. <laughs> so turn off a notification or two. Challenge number 20 kind of goes along with that in that I'm challenging you to unsubscribe to at least one email that you normally get. And I'm talking about all the retail emails and other things that you you signed up to get email news from different people. Challenge yourself to see if you can identify just one email to unsubscribe from. That eliminates some of the mental clutter, the email clutter that you have to deal with every day. Let's see what some of the things are that I have on the challenge for week four. Number 22, say no to at least one invitation or activity this month. If you're one of these busy moms, busy people that 
are just being torn in so many different directions every day. It's okay to say no every now and then. It really is okay to say no every now and then. You can't do everything. You can't be everywhere. Challenge yourself to say no at least one time when you're normally tempted to just feel like I have to say yes to everything. Challenge number 25 is to let go of at least one gift item that you don't use or you don't wear, that you're only keeping it because of the person that gave it to you. Now, I did a, a video recently with my mom where we went through her closet and we talked about clothes specifically because she would keep something that I would give her because it was a gift for me, but she wasn't wearing it, didn't even fit her anymore. I made sure that she understood she was not going to hurt my feelings at all if she got rid of a gift that I gave her, whether it was clothes or anything else, because the act of giving a gift is the act of giving and receiving. And once that happens, to me, that's kind of the end of the gift. I know you still have a physical gift, but I think you know what I mean. If you're holding on to something just because it was gifted to you, see if you can find something to let go. I know you're busy. I'm not going to keep you to go through all of these 28 items, but I do want you to have this challenge. So all you have to do is go to my website, which is simplyangie.com. I'll put that on the screen and I'll put it in the description and you just go to the join the community page and what you'll do is you'll sign up to get this and it will be delivered to you by email. You will get your emails one week at a time so you're not overwhelmed with things to do. Just one email a week with seven ideas for you to do that week. Then a week later you'll get the next email and so on. You'll get four emails and I promise 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 because i have your email that does not mean i'm going to be sending you emails all the time trying to get you to buy things or do things i'm that's not what i'm about i normally send out one email a month to people that are on my email list so and you can opt out anytime that you want this is free i'd love for you to sign up and get it i'd love for you to take the challenge and I would love for you to come back to this video and leave me a comment about how you did on the challenge. What things were easy to do, what things were a little bit harder to do, some of the things that you never even thought about simplifying. So I really am interested to hear how this works for you and for you to share it with other people because it's great when people comment and read each other's comments. We all learn from each other about ways that we can simplify our lives. Simplifying, decluttering, letting go of things is not about doing without. It's not what it's all about. It's about removing the things that don't really have value in your life so that you have more time for the things that are important, for the people that are important. So that's what decluttering is all about. It's making room for the good stuff. So I hope that you will start your declaring journey and I hope that this will be a help to you. And if you found this video to be helpful, I would also appreciate it if you leave me a thumbs up. That helps me to grow my channel. And I would, of course, love for you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I also make videos about creative calendar planning, which is a really fun hobby. So I invite you to check that out as well. Until I see you next time, I hope that you will keep it simple. Remember that simple pleasures really are the best. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.